Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys the terrain and heights tools, more specifically, in the map editor for Unturned. So, to start off, the place where you find the heights tools is within the terrain tab. Now, on the side, we've got three scroller bars. Two of them are used for every single tool, raise, lower, smooth, and flatten. And the other one, the height slider, is only used for flatten. So I'll show you guys how these work. So obviously, the size bar, as you move it up, the size gets bigger. It's pretty self-explanatory. It can get really massive, depending on what you want to do. I guess for like large maps. This is a small one, so I don't have that much room to work with. The strength tool is also really important, so I'll compare it. I'll show you the difference between the two. This is on minimal strength, so I should be raising the terrain. And right now, it hasn't even broken through the water yet. Let's see, maybe it will in a couple seconds. Or not. Let's see. I can barely even see. I don't even know if it's done anything. We'll move it up a little bit for comparison's sake. Come on. Okay, so as you can see, it's obviously really slow when you have it down that low. Now when you put it up this high though, at the very top, it obviously builds things more faster. And in the middle, you know, it's not as fast, but it's a good medium for them. Okay, so that's the strength tool and the size tool. Those are pretty obvious. So, now let's go over these. The raise and lower. They use the same hotkey to switch, but as you can see, if you press Q, it goes to raise, and then if you press it again, it goes to lower. And they just counteract each other. So, raising, lowering. Okay, so I'm going to raise a little bit of land. And I'll show you guys what you can do now with the smooth tool. It's very self explanatory as well. Okay, got a little bit of land, got maybe a little bit of a mountain. Okay, so now I got the smooth tool. And this you can really see the effects of it when the strength is on high but maybe high high is a little uncontrollable because it sh tends to flatten it what it does is the smooth tool tries to average out the heights of everything that is within the circle which essentially just smooths it it's perfect for leveling mountains making smooth rolling hills out of sharp spikes um, making your way into water like creating nice beaches instead of like sharp drop-offs so that your player can actually like climb out of the water like if you see this angle is not too much but depending on how you do it they may not be able to climb out of the water because it's just too steep so it's a great tool for finishing touches mostly okay the flatten tool is the most complicated the hot key for that is E oh and I didn't mention this but the hot key for the smooth was W guys they're all on there right next to it so as you use it more and more you'll become more familiar and they'll be easy to, to access so the flatten tool uses the height bar and it's the only one that does it also uses the strength and the size bar but what what you have to do with the height bar is the numbers in the height bar represent a percentage of the possible height in the world and the bottom is zero so if I put in zero it's gonna be under the water you know, it flattens everything down to that zero level. If I put in one, which represents 100, that is the highest it can go. And the nice thing about this is it creates perfectly flat surfaces. The only problem with it is generally the strength, I think the strength is pretty high on it normally. Oh, well, never mind. You can, you can tone the strength down. But it usually creates really straight lines which can be bad for like blending terrain so if you use this tool I would suggest also using the smooth tool to sort of keep it from 
being too much of like super high mountains which I mean you may want that and they definitely can be used to create things like that so yeah the height tool is very useful also because you it, it's great for creating flat areas where you can put buildings like if you put a building on the side of this mountain or on a hill the ground may poke up underneath through the floor and it'll look really bad and like if you want to get a nice flat surface flatten it out flatten out just that area with the height that most replicates what was there already and then you can just smooth in the edges to make it look better make it fit in with the rest of the terrain so so yeah I think that's oh no that's not quite it also guys down here at the bottom there's a primary button that if you click it turns to secondary this is actually kind of important for the finishing touches of the map so within the first within these boundaries these red lined boundaries let's see no I put point two in the heights that's not right let's put 0.5 that should be halfway up for the possible space okay you can only within these boundaries you can only build to you know that far out you can't build any farther so that leaves the problem of background scenery so if you're playing in this world you're like oh yeah yeah I'm going up on this hill and if you don't know about this primary or secondary tab your player will always see just an expanse of ocean around and this is really it looks really crappy so what you can do is with this primary button if you switch it to secondary secondary button makes it so that you edit terrain that's outside of this bounding area and this terrain I guess can go all the way through but your player cannot walk on it and it's a lot rougher as you can see like it's not as smooth there's a lot more jagged edges and another difference for it is that it cannot be populated by resources like trees bushes anything like that but it can have basic materials like grass on it and obviously this has to stop at the waterline at the very edge of the map but it gives you enough room to like raise up a mountain or something to sort of hide the fact that you know the edge of the map is there so you it, it's really great for just blending in the whole map so now instead of your player standing right here and seeing ocean he sees you know a grassy hill or whatever so so that's about all for this heights tab um, thank you guys for watching I hope you learned something if you didn't please move on in the series I'll be going over things that you probably don't know about um, please like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you want to see some more and thank you guys for watching Whoa,